is Andrew Versa with Impact Soundworks, and today I'm going to be demonstrating Allura featuring Jillian Aversa. Now, I am slightly biased here because we are married, but I think objectively she is a pretty outstanding vocalist who's performed on soundtracks from the Halo franchise, Civilization, Soul Calibur, God of War, and many others. For this virtual instrument, we've recorded 150 unique performances recorded in multiple keys, tempos, time signatures, scales, and modes, and made them available in a contact engine, which you see before you. Here is an example of what it sounds like. As you can hear, each phrase can be played back flawlessly in any key with no sort of degradation. It was recorded in C, D sharp, F sharp, and A, so depending on what note you play, it's either being transposed just a single note or semitone, or not at all. The phrases are organized into an inspiring collection which you can view in the browser here. They're groupings of 10, so for example, let's check out Into the Mist 4. Now that's being played back with no effects because it's the browser preview. If we double click on the check, we've loaded it up and we can play it back with our effects rack. It's a beautiful sound that was recorded in a nice dry studio so you can apply all kinds of reverb to it. The signal is super clear and precise. We recorded with a nice warm analog tube preamp so you know it's good stuff. And here's what it sounds like with a couple different reverbs. Or we could use a smaller one, like a chamber hall. Or a plate reverb. Since it is recorded dry, we definitely recommend using some kind of reverb so that it sits into your mix nicely. Now in the browser, you might have noticed in the left part here that you can sort by mode, vowel, tempo, and time signature. So you could either use this library to inspire a new composition where you don't already have a bunch of other instruments and chords, or if you're trying to fit it into your existing composition, searching this way is the way to go. For example, let's check out major and let's pick Ooh, and then we can go to the Celtic Heart collection. Of course, depending on what your root tone is, that might sound minor, but now let's turn on Contacts Tuner and hear a C drone. So you can hear that in context, when you play C, that is definitely a C major scale performance. The phrases include ethereal things like this, which don't have very much vibrato, or you can get into stuff that sounds very powerful. Let's select ethno, and these are all in ah, and we'll pick through the fire.
As you'll see from the UI below, you can assign phrases to key switches at the bottom of the keyboard. So we're playing up here in the playable range, then you assign in the left hand. And let's look at three, four phrases, and perhaps we'll do 80 BPM, and we can see that it's Celtic Soul. So click here, and then we have that assigned to C, but then if we click on D, we could assign this Celtic Heart 2, 3, and 4. So now if we click on the contact keyboard, And once again, you can do this in multiple keys. It still sounds nice, clear, and pure. It's also possible to lock this to your host. But right now we're hearing it in the original tempo of 100 BPM, but if we click lock to host, and let's set our host for 110, then we're going to hear faster playback. Or we could go slower, we could do let's say 90 BPM. By sampling in three different tempos and with this lock to host feature, or alternatively using this speed knob to freely change the speed of the phrases, you can adapt these to pretty much any kind of song, any kind of track. Each key down here also has its own set of tweaking parameters. So if you feel like one phrase is a bit too loud, you can reduce the volume of this one. And then if we switch back to the phrase assigned to C1, you'll see the volume remains the same. The same goes for tuning and format, which essentially changes the character of the voice. It won't sound as realistic or natural, but it can produce some interesting results. So if we go back to Celtic Heart 3, and let's play on F and increase the format, just uh, maybe a little bit to start with. Now let's decrease it. Again, not realistic, but pretty cool for sound design. You also have a dynamic slider, which is used to adjust the overall volume and brightness of the sound. And then expression, which is pure volume. And these can be, of course, MIDI learned and automated in your host. Let's browse around and play just a few more phrases. There's just so much lovely and inspiring material here. Now before we finish with this patch, we have of course the analog modeled compressor and EQ from some of our other instruments. Then you can add some nice dreamy delay as well. It's tempo synced, so there is an eighth dotted note. We'll turn down the damping, increase the pan and feedback, and just wash it out.
All of these phrases are also available as pure WAV files. So you can load them up into your DAW, you can chop them, load them into other samplers, resample them for granular synthesis, and generally just go nuts. It's pretty cool. But we have one extra bonus patch that comes with the library as well. Even though it's primarily phrase-based, we also have single notes. These are not recorded with Legato, so this is more of a little bit of a bonus. The Legato version of this patch, which will also have non-vibrato versions, is going to come in volume two. So think of this as a way to harmonize or flesh out maybe some of the existing phrases if you want to add some notes or add a little bit of harmony in the background. It's not meant to be a standalone lead instrument. but it does sound really good. And it goes down all the way to G. And we have it stretched to F. So Jillian's low range is normally a G, but it goes down to F. There are two vowels. We have ooh and ah. So if we morph to ah, we get this. Besides these single notes, we also have effects atmospheres, which are pretty interesting, designed by Blake Ewing. Let's check some of them out. Now in this mode, these turn into filter controls, so morph becomes resonance, and then dynamics can be used to affect cutoff. Some really cool playable atmospheres and textures here. For the most part, they are tonal. Some of them work better as chords, some of them work better as single notes. Anyway, that's just a quick look at Allura Volume 1 and what it offers. You can pick up this contact sample library for $59, and once again, this does come with waves for all of the phrases and performances. In another video, I'm going to show you how I use this library to create one of the demo songs for the library, which you might have heard in the trailer. Once again, this has been Andrew Versa. I hope you enjoyed listening to Jillian's voice, and I'll see you in the next video.